What's up guys, got another brushless Traxxas Blast upgrade video for you guys here. As uh, currently for me, it is the off season for boating season because all the lakes are frozen right now. It's winter time. So I figured I would do a little bit of maintenance and some upgrades. As you guys can see, I've kind of taken everything apart and like disassembled the whole shaft and whatnot. And uh, what I am thinking of at least starting off with is adjusting the prop height as it currently let's see where it sits it sits right there that's how it is right now so it's kind of angled downward a little bit but kind of you know that's kind of not what we want because even though you you may think you'd want it angled downward because then the boat is going to get elevation and get on top of the water and get going fast when in reality the further down it goes the prop's just going to spin and like the prop because the prop's going to spin and want to go up like towards the surface of the water it's not going to pull the back of the boat down to try to like get on top of the water so we want it pretty pretty level i'd say because then you'll because then when, when the speed comes in like that'll that's what'll get it on top of the water. So I'm gonna take this nut right here and grab my cross wrench, which is right here. Just gonna take that, loosen it just a little bit, and then you gotta loosen it more than I thought. Okay, and then push it back just a little bit on this little slide dingy majiggy right here and then tighten that bolt back down and there we go and then when I once I like hook this back up to the servo and whatnot the prop will be pretty level to my satisfaction which is great and then in here okay so I've taken the receiver out and the motor along with pretty much everything else just except for the ESC which is which I currently got a Traxxas Nautica ESC in there right now which this thing is you know, I'm gonna just pull it out right now because it's you know I don't like to talk bad about Traxxas products but the Nautica is just crap you know it's way too freaking big and doesn't always turn on so I'm just gonna upgrade that and then re-grease this center shaft right here as you guys can see that kind of doesn't even have that much grease in it just old used grease and dirty need to get some fresh stuff in there and then I am going to mount a brushless motor right here along with a uh, brass connect connector for the motor and the center shaft because it's pretty durable and insanely quiet so I'm gonna mount that right there and then um, for the battery which goes in here on this battery tray goes in there and slides up towards the front of the boat I'm going to use this Gems Ace uh, lipo battery 5000 milliamp hour really uh, you know it's a good size it'll should fit perfectly in the front of the boat and it's not too heavy and it's ridiculously powerful and it uh, when I bought it it came with a Dean's connector so I soldered the new Traxxas TRX ID plug on there as you guys can see because that's what my charger is set up for however the brushless esc which i'm going to be using is this track star 118 scale uh esc you know it's pretty small because it's made for 118 scale you know i just want this boat to be pretty light and this is pretty light it just happens to be pretty small and i've got this uh, I think it's called the banana plug. No, I don't know. It's the tra old Traxxas plug, whatever it's called. I'm not really sure. 
But uh, I started that on maybe a few years ago, three, four years ago, because that's what they used at the time, and that's not what came on this ESC. So now I gotta go out and buy a new ID plug and solder it on the ESC, and then I'll just install the battery and hook all the wires up and install this brushless motor which i believe yep is 4370 kv nine turn made by google rc if you guys are interested should be pretty lit i know that i said in a while back in one of my videos i made uh traxxas blast upgrade brushless upgrades i think is what it's called and i know i said that like i'd be installing all this brushless stuff and whatnot but like it was i did that during the boating season and I kind of just didn't have time for all these upgrades. Like, I wanted to use the boat, not work on it, that sort of thing. So what I ended up doing is I just got the Pro Boat React 17-inch boat. It's pretty good. It's a little smaller than this one, a little more powerful. And I just added that to my collection. But now, it being the off-season, I got time for upgrades. So this is pretty much everything that I'm going to be doing and for receiver, I'm going to do the Traxxas TQI along with the TQI transmitter. As you can see right here, TQI receiver along with transmitter. And yeah, that is pretty much everything I am going to be doing. And water cooling system, I'm going to get uh, the Traxxas Spartan water cooling system. I think that one's a little better and a little faster, smaller, quicker, more productive, that type of thing. And then I'm going to be using the, uh, which servo did I decide to go with? I went with the uh, Traxxas 2080 servo, which is pretty small, and pretty powerful, pretty light. Exactly what I need for this boat. And that should cover everything. Got this custom paint job still currently blue with the stock decals and uh yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a like check out my other videos and i will see you next time